Hello. Recently, I had the opportunity to present our new agency strategic plan to a joint committee in both the House and Senate overseeing the Department of Human Services. Our strategic plan, which you can find on the department homepage, was crafted in part by many CDHS employees and with input from clients, patients, and our partners from across the state. It outlined several strategic goals for the upcoming year, and I'd like to tell you about the key initiatives that we'll embark upon that are contained in the plan. First, we'll consolidate state early childhood services and funding within the department to improve kindergarten readiness and prevention of child abuse and neglect. House Bill 131117 was recently introduced in the House. It will bring over to our agency several children and family programs currently housed in the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment. This, along with the $30 million grant awarded to the state for the Early Learning Challenge uh, Fund, will create a strong foundation to support our work with young children. In partnership with Healthcare Policy and Financing, we will redesign the business model for long-term supports and services in our state. This means reducing the wait list for services, strengthening outreach, prevention, and system navigation, while reducing our use of institutional care for seniors and people with developmental disabilities. We'll also follow up on the recommendations of the Elder Abuse Task Force created last fall. Our third priority, in partnership with the Office of Economic Development and International Trade, the Department of Labor and Employment, and the Department of Higher Education, we will establish a strategy to align employment and training services with the Governor's Economic Development Plan, more commonly known as the Colorado Blueprint. Our fourth goal is to continue to improve child safety and well-being through the Governor's Child Welfare Plan called Keeping Kids Safe and Families Healthy. And our fifth goal, as we recently announced with Governor Hickenlooper, we will be strengthening Colorado's mental health and substance abuse system. The governor has proposed $18 million in new resources to allow us to implement crisis response services, expand inpatient capacity, and to enhance community care services, as well as further implement trauma-informed care approaches in both of our institutes. I wanna thank you all for contributing to this strategic plan including those of you on the Employee Council, as well as members of Colorado WINS, both of whom provided input as we develop priorities for this year. Lastly, as a foundation of our work together, we've revised our agency's mission, vision, and value statement. The revised statement speaks to our commitment of collaboration, our role as a healthcare provider, as well as a leading human service agency, and that we're about helping people improve their lives. You may see new posters throughout your facility uh, with our mission, vision, and values listed. Please take a moment to read them and join me in a shared commitment to make them a reality in all that we do. There are many other initiatives that we'll embark upon this year, and it could only be possible thanks to the knowledge, hard work, and dedication of all of you here at the department. Thank you for all that you do, and I look forward to an outstanding year together at CDHS.